Hi, uh, welcome back to again Python programming. So, we had uh, discussed about strings and uh, we are now looking at what? Breaking the strings and trying to understand. Okay. So, we will continue with the session. Okay. So, last session we had discussed about string. Uh, we understood like string indexing starts from 0 and ends with what? The last index. How did we find last index? Recall string length minus 1. Right. So, now in the whole of the last session we were discussing about how to access an element of a string and so on. But there are many situations where we want to handle a string but not as a whole or as a one element we want some portion of that like substring. So, what we need is if my whole string is something like Monty Python how to access m yeah we know that index 0 how to access the whole string string name but what if I want only Monty or what if I want only Python is nothing but what the concept of slicing. So, we will get into the concept of slicing we will try to understand what is the concept and how do we access those sub string out of which right. So, if you look at that this is a string that we have where the string index starts with 0 and goes till index 11 in our example. So, now what is the length of the string 11 plus 1 why because index starts with 0. So, length of the string is 12 and number of uh, uh, strings number of characters that we have in a string is 12 and how do I access index 0 going till 11. Now, I want to access the uh, first element I want to access the first element assume that this we are equating to s. So, now Monty Python is nothing but a string literal where we can have that in single quotes or maybe in double quotes we equate that to s. So, now if I want to have the first element so I can refer s of 0. So, where I am referring to a the first element. So, similarly if I tell okay, coming back s of 0 is nothing but m. So, if I tell s of 11 then it is my last element n. Now, we want not the first element not the last element or the complete string we want a substring for which we have a concept of slicing. Now, what is the meaning of s of 0 indicating that s is nothing but the string name index 0 which is that element. Now, we have an option of using 0 along with a colon. So, we can have like colon. So, what I write before colon is start with what I write after colon is an end with. So, now when I do not mention a colon if I have an index then that is nothing but a exact index. So, if I have colon then I have an option where from where to start where to end. If I have a number that will be my start that will be my end example s of 10 which is start 10 what is the end index 10. But here if I use colon I have a concept like I can mention my start I can mention my end also. Now, if you look at this example what is the uh, string literal Monty Python what is the string variable that we have used yes s equal to Monty Python. So, if you look s equal to Monty Python where the string literal is enclosed in single quotes. Now, is it a mandatory that we should enclose in single quotes we have two options right either I can enclose in single quotes or maybe I can use double quotes. Now, what is s yes? s yes is nothing but Monty Python. Now, we look at accessing start with and end with using the concept of indexing which is nothing but slicing. So, now we will write s yes is nothing but name of the string 0 and 4. So, now what is the meaning of this? So, for colon what we write before colon is start with after what we write is end with. So, in the meaning start with 0 go till index 4. Now, there is a small change in understanding start with is ok for us, but when you tell 4 you should be very careful here. So, when you have a colon concept start with 0 is good go till 4, but do not consider 4. So, what is this 0 and 4 they are the indexes. So, if you look at s of start with 0 ok good we will start with 0 go till 4 go till 4, but do not consider 4. So, in that case m o n t is our output print s of 0 of 4 look at the output m o n t. Similarly, if I have print s of 6 to 7. So, start with index 6 go till 7, but 7 is not considered start with 6 start with 6 go till 7 7 not considered what is that character p. So, look at the output character p. Second 
s of 6 to 20 so start with 6 6 index 6 go till 20 do not consider 20 so start with 6 we will start with p then go till 20 but we have 11 end of the string so further not necessary because we know that it is still 11 so starting with 6 it will print all that python so look at that we have a output as python so what is here to remember if i am trying to access a character i specify the index if i am trying to access a substring then what is required one start with and end with but what slice does in python start with yeah start with particular index but when it comes to end with that index is not considered again when it is 0 to 7 recall start with 0 go till 7 but sorry 0 to 4 start with 0 go till 4 but 4 is not considered so my output will be what or maybe the string will be what m o n and t m o n t so you should be very careful while slicing normally what we get into understanding when i give 0 to 4 start with 0 go till 4 consider everything but not in python start with is appropriate but end with is good but end the element end element will not be considered so you have to discard your last index so best is what when you tell x to y when you tell x to y so what is our understanding or what our understanding should be start with x go till y minus 1 y by y y minus 1 because reason is when you have that y that yth element will not be considered so in our example start with 0 go till 4 minus 1 that is 3 so 0 to 3 0 to 3 so that is m o n t right so this is how we perform the slicing now there are few things which we have some uh, like example we will start with 0 we need all the elements so i should write 0 to what right or i will start with y i will start with y go uh, rest of the elements are required so there are few things which we can have or maybe i want n but i do not want all the items so there are lot of mix and match for which we have an option in python so what is that we can do i can write colon but i may not write the before with or start with i may not write end with so if i don't write start with if i don't write end with what do we get right so we we'll look into it print yes yes is nothing but our string multi python so we have a colon what is before colon empty so we do not have start with but we have end with then in that case if i do not have start with then where do i start by default which is zero so in that case if i tell yes colon 2 then i start with starting index which is zero go till 2 go till 2 but discard 2 so what is our output m o okay we got it if i have the other way around print s of a so i know start with but end with is not specified what is default end of the string last index so s of 8 colon blank indicates what start from 8 go till end because end we have not specified no? so go till end so 8 9 10 11 now the question is 11th is considered or not considered right so here if i give a number like example 2 till what elements that is 2 minus 1 but here i have not mentioned anything nothing is there here so its meaning is go till last go till the end of the string so start from 8 t h o n t h o n so this is one very very important thing that a distinction you should understand what if you have a number so best thing is like this if you have an end like x till what character it is x minus 1 you will consider you have a colon you do not mention anything till what till end of the string so that is very very important so hence we got s of 8 colon nothing we got t h o n why we have not specified anything at the end now look at the special case print s colon where do we do not have a start with we do not have end with if i do not have a start with index is 0 if i do not have end with the last element last index so if i consider whole of that then what do i get monty python monty python so now we understood that if i have a string how to access a st component of a string one element one character using indexing if i want the whole string what i can do print yes that will work out if i want a substring yeah we use the concept of this slicing where we write colon what we write before colon is start with 
what we write after colon is end with. So, what is to be kept in mind if I write x then what elements are considered till x minus 1 that is very very important. Then if I do not mention anything like end with then you have to remember that we will consider till the end of the string. So, all indexes are considered till we reach a last index. Right? So, slicing we regularly use that. Now, where do we use slicing? Right? One best example that we can have. I have an email or maybe I have a text, a file inside that I, I, I want to find out uh, in that text from which mail, from which email id I got a mail. So, I, I may look for what? Is there any string like at then if I find out then I, wa I want to slice what is before and what is after. So, all these things can be considered. So, where I am trying to figure out what? Not considering the complete string, maybe a substring. So, we can use the concept of slicing. Now, uh, this thing we have already understood like what a string concatenation, but a small change that is all right. So, now if you look at a is hello, next we are trying to do plus with there. So, in that case uh, last session we told plus is depending on what are our operands plus will operate in a different way. So, here plus operands are strings, so it becomes a concatenation concat. So, what is B? B is nothing but hello and there. So, look at that print B, we got hello and there. But is that the appropriate one? Many a times we may need like hello is one word, there is another word and we want to combine them. So, the meaning is it should be act like a two word. So, in that case we need a blank space in between, which we concatenation will not do that because it is a combining. So, what we can do? We can add one extra symbol to that. So, where A is nothing but there A plus there, but we we'll, we add one more one blank space in between. So, A plus one blank space plus there. So, in that case A is nothing but hello, there is also there. So, print C. What is C now? C is nothing but hello space there. So, look at that we have hello one blank space and there. So, you have to figure out like if you need a blank space you have to do that in the program. So, if you use plus operator it will be combined as one single word. So, if you want word, if you want a blank space you should explicitly specify the blank space like this. Now, so how to check a particular character is there in the string or not? Yeah, as usual we can write a if statement, we, are, we can write for in that particular array then look for each character if it is equal then I can tell. We have a special operator called as a, a logical operator which is in a logical operator in. So, what am I doing? I am trying to write is this character available in this string? What is my string? Banana is a string literal where the variable name is fruit. So, I am checking is the character n available in banana? So, here when you look at banana n is available. So, we got the result as true. right? So, here we are not trying to do some operation. We are trying to check whether that character is there or not. So, in that case what will be our output? Our output should always be a boolean is there or not there. So, it is nothing but true or false. Now, second example if you check we are trying to check character m in fruit. Fruit is nothing but a variable name where the content is banana. So, when you look at m, m does not occur here. So, it is false. right? Then we have n a n not a number is fruit. So, what is n a n? Not a number, but please remember n a n we have put inside a single code. So, it became a string. So, we are not trying to check with not a number, we are trying to check with whether the character n a n occurs in the fruit variable, fruit variable. So, we have n a n, yes it is occurring. So, we got the answer true. Right? Now, what we where we can use this right so we can do if a in fruit then we can do some per performance so i can check whether that particular character exist character exists in that particular string or not using an operator called in so there are a lot of facilities like this in python where we have we can use those operators to get our work done so one of the expression is in which is a keyword then uh, uh, yeah, one good thing about uh, string in uh, Python is what we can have a string comparison. So, there are many programming languages where string comparison is not allowed. So, how to solve that? Uh, use the functions for that. 
if string comparison is directly ap applicable as an operator it would have been very good for a programmer so javascript sorry python allows us to do this operation right? so word is one string banana is another string we can try to compare that where word is equal to banana we are trying to check well, then what is word in this case right if you look at banana if you look at banana yeah we know that banana is a literal string literal then what is word word looks like it is a variable what is the content of it it is again a string so we are trying to check whether the string what is the content of word is it equal to banana if yes then we do some processing or we can check if word less than banana or word greater than banana then equal to is we understood what is this less than greater than it is about the ascii values so we are trying to check what is the content of the word whether it comes before in the ascii table before this what is the content of it so string comparison is very easy in python where we can have use an operator equal to less than greater than right so this is one example where we can do a comparison operator for strings direct direct using the operators like equal to less than greater than so trying to check with the words occurrences now what if the word uh, the, the content of this word is ban or bam right so in the case bb equal aa equal then it will check with m and n so corresponding character indexes are being compared and then it will tell whether it occurs first or last whether it is less than or greater than or equal to then there are huge collection of string libraries that are available in python so there are come up with any problem you refer back yeah there is a library that is available start using that library that's all nothing much here right so what is important for us okay given a problem statement what library is available how to use that library is our importance so uh, taking few examples of uh, string libraries that are uh, that are not like exhaustively available few of them now if you look at greet is one variable greet is one variable where the content is hello bob now when you look at that content there are characters which are upper case there are character which are lower case also so now we can use a function come up with a concept where all are lower cases all are upper cases and so on for which we have lot of functions so the function is lower the function is lower and we want to perform this into lower case which is our string our string is hello bob which is stored in a variable greet so we will say greet dot lower the converted lower case again we are storing in a another variable so we will print that variable and check what is the output of it so if i print that i am able to see that all are lower cases greet h is uh, capital b is capital but when i convert that into lower store in zap when i print it i get all the lower cases so similarly uh, we can use lot of functionalities on that now we are printing zap what is the content of greet remember greet dot lower does what take the content of greet convert into lower store it in zap but content of greet is not modified how do we check print so we'll see that still the content of greet is still the old content that which h capital and b capital right so this is one uh, how to use a function now what is greet in this case it's a variable instead of variable can i directly use a string literal example is this hi there which is in single quote so it's a string literal string literal dot lower dot lower where h is capital t is also capital but when you look at the output we got a lower case so to use a function not necessary that we should have our uh, or it's not necessary that it should be a variable it can also be a string literal where it can be in single quotes or a double quote so string as an input can be given or maybe a variable as an input can, that can be given so this example or uh, this slide talks about what there are lot of functions along with the variable the function can be used or along with the string literal the function can be used now this is one example which talks about uh, the different types of functions that are available like example what we have done i am declaring one variable stuff with hello world as a string string literal so what is the content of stuff hello world now as i told string has lot of functions 
one among them is type. So, now what is that I am passing? The variable name. Now, what it will tell me? What is the data type of stuff? Which is nothing but a string. So, here there are a lot of things like different built in functions that are available where we can try to check with how to use that function on based on what requirement that particular function to be used. Right? See, there are a lot of functions uh, just to name few of them replaces one function where we will have a old content replace that with a new content or we have r find where we will have a substring to be found in how to find we have a string in this string what I want to find what is the start and end. So, all these indexes can be specified. Now, any format in any programming language one thing to be remembered is if something is in a square in our example what is in square start is in square end is in square. So, what is the meaning of this whenever you come across a concept of this then this square indicates it is optional it is optional. So, in that case if I need I can give a value for that or I do not need I can skip take first example string dot replace this is compulsory this is compulsory or mandatory, but this count is an optional for us. So, any format any syntax that has something like a square bracket then it becomes an optional. So, I may write or may not write, but what about old and new you have to specify other than that the function will not work. So, it will become a syntax error. So, you have replace r find r index r adjust. So, lot of functions are available in string Maybe we will take one program which talks about all these things. So, there are a lot of string functions right. So, example we have a capitalized function, center function, ends with, then find, L strip, replace, count, lower, R strip, all that. But what we took an example? This one, str dot lower. So there are a lot of string functions libraries that are available. Maybe some point of stage we'll discuss few functions, how to use that function and where to use and so on. So normally this stripping we use either it could be a left strip or right strip. Uh, remove those bra the blank spaces consider the word try to do a comparison for that and so on. Now, we will look for one sample like uh, a function called find a function called find what it does searching a string right. So, now here we will equate this we have a variable fruit we have a variable fruit where the content of fruit is banana the string banana. So, now fruit dot find n a now recall before this few minutes back we took some operator called in which gave us output as what true or false. So, it will tell us whether that particular character or a string is available in that string or not, but it will never give us a position. So, assume that we want a position for some processing then in will not work yeah find will give us. So, now look at fruit dot find n a. So, it is trying to find is the occurrence of n a available in that particular variable what is the variable fruit what is the content this one. So, we have n a we have n a. So, there are multiple occurrences. So, now when you look at POS equal to fruit dot find n a. So, it will try to find n a is available in the fruit yes and it copies to a variable called POS it copies to a variable called POS. Now, we will print what is POS to our surprise we will see that it is printing 2 what is 2 yeah this is the first occurrence this is the second occurrence. So, according to us our understanding was what we should get 2 comma 4, but we get only 2 why because P o, the find function will return me the position of first occurrence. So, hence it is displaying the value as 2. Next fruit dot find z. So, in fruit I am trying to find z. So, z is not there. So, that value is copied to a a it is not true false right because it is a position the position is copied to a a. So, print a a we will see that position is minus 1. So, minus because in string there is nothing like index minus 1. So, index minus 1 indicates what invalid. So, as our index starts with 0 
minus 1 tells that this particular string is not there in that particular variable or it is not available in the string literal. So, when to use in trying to check whether that is there or not like true or false, when to use find I want a position I can use find where we get the first occurrence position of that particular substring. If found we get a upper operate, if that particular string is not there then we get the index as minus 1, the result as minus 1 which indicates that this particular string or a character is not available right. So, hence the position value is minus 1. Now, as we understood something about a lower case, how to make it as an upper case? Same logic, small change in the function, right? Instead of lower, we should use upper. So, we have like greet, hello Bob, where H is capital, B is capital, rest of them are lower case. So, we told greet dot upper, copy that to a variable n, n, n. So, we will print n, n, n here. Look, we got all upper case, right? So, now greed dot lower copy that to w w w print w w all are lower. So, simple based on what is the content that we want or what functionality we need we can change the content of the string. So, converting that into upper we use dot upper as a function lower dot lower as the function and one thing to remember either you use upper or lower the content actual content of greet will not change. So, still our content of greet is the same hello bob where h is capital and b is capital rest are still lower only. After this statement still the same, after this statement still the same, but what you modify you copy that into a different variable and you can print that. So, it is not that the original value will be changed, no original value will be stay untouched again. Then we have another uh, function called replace replace. So, when you look at replace as the name says Bob is replaced with Jan. So, B O B is replaced with J A N E. So, now we will we will take an example try to understand that we have hello Bob which is stored in greet. So, greet becomes a variable a string variable where the content is hello Bob then we will tell greet dot replace. So, I am looking at replacing this Bob with this value J A N E and whatever the replacement that is done will be stored in NSTR. So, we will print NSTR and check what happens. We print NSTR, hello remains as it is, BOB is replaced by JANE. So, this is what the replace is. Right? Now, look at this occurrence, uh, STR sorry this is a variable greet dot replace uh, OX. So, what is greet? Greet is nothing but hello Bob. What is replace? You are replacing O with X. Now, if you look at this hello Bob, this is one O, this is another O. So, now as per our understanding, we should we, we think what? Okay, replacement, whether it is occurring only one replacement or all the replacements. So, normally by default we expect that to be all replacement. So, when you look at replace O with X in terms of greet, so this O should be replaced with X, the next O should be replaced with X. When you print that, you will see to your surprise that yes our understanding and the actually what Perl, uh, Python is doing are the same like x happens to be that earlier value 0 replaced with x, this old value was 0 that was also replaced with x. So, we expected that this 0 should number of occurrences all the occurrences of 0 is replaced with x and that is what we are achieving it. So, what replace is doing actually it is finding whether there is an occurrence of Bob if yes replace that with J A N E. So, what it is doing two things search and replace. So, the replace function is doing a searching and then removing that and adding the new content to that that is what the function replace does. Ah, this is what I told like in our subsequent example we will try to figure out how to use this function. What is the functionality strip? Now, what strip does? So, Many a times, many a times we will have white spaces, we will have blank spaces or maybe a before or after or in between. So, for which we need to, we can use a function called strip. Now, in any programming language normally 90 percent of the time this is valid. If you have a function 
x y z if you have a function x y z and for this function you have three occurrences one it can be x y z it can be l x y z it can be x y z r or maybe r can be at the beginning like this also. So, now when you have like this l always stands for left r stands for right. So, in our example left strip r right right strip. So, now if you have a string you have two things left hand side and right hand side. So, based on what type of stripping that we do that it will start from there right. Now, look at this example greet is a variable where you have a string with one blank space hello bob and one blank space end of the string. So, here what are we doing there is one blank space here there is one blank space here there is one blank space here. Now, greet dot l strip now here you have to check greet dot l strip you are not storing in a variable. So, in that case whatever the modification that is done is for the greet. So, what modification we do will be applied for the actual content of greet. So, now when you look greet dot l strip so left hand side you are stripping the blank space left hand side if you strip then my first character is h. So, look at that after you strip what did you get the first character is h before stripping the first character is blank. Now, why only that is being eliminated because the function is l strip. Now, you have greet dot r strip assuming that greet is the original version. So, you have one blank space one blank space one blank space here. So, r strip what happens the right side blank space will be eliminated. So, in that case what do you get left uh, they start with this blank end and look at that after b you do not have a blank space. Now, assume that this is the whole string where you have one blank space here one blank space here one blank space here. So, now you will call strip greet dot strip. Now, what, what should happen greet the strip left hand side right hand side what happens to this blank space. So, now that blank space will not be eliminated because that is this whole thing stripping happens what either on the left hand side or on the right hand side or both together. So, if I use l strip left hand side if I use raw strip right hand side if I use strip left and right blank spaces will be eliminated. So, when you look at the output h is the first character small b is the last character, but still we have a blank space. So, do not get into conclusion that or confusion that the blank spaces will also be eliminated no start end only is taken care in terms of strip. So, l strip left hand side r strip right hand side. So, strip removes both beginning and ending white spaces. So, strip will never get into in between it takes only two things beginning and ending y spaces will be removed ok. So, you, you can also have something called as what you have a line in the line you want to check with what is that starting with. So, for which we have a function called starts with. So, I can check whether my line my line starting with what a character or maybe a word or maybe a substring. So, in our first example what am I looking at this is a literal string literal which I am storing in a variable line. So, please have a nice day is a string which is stored in a line which is a variable. So, I will tell line dot starts with please. So, what am I checking here I am trying to look whether my line is starting with p l e a s c yes it is starting look at the output true. Next line dot start with p so, I am looking at whether it is starting with p yes it is starting with p then why am I getting false right. So, if you look at after p I have a blank space after p I have a blank space, but here after p I do not have a blank space second am I looking for start with whatever I give is a string. So, in that case am I searching for a particular character like p or word p. So, when you look at this output yeah we know that it is starting with p only we know that it is starting with p only here also starting with p but for this it is true but for this it is false why for the second one it is false right think about it i will have a question mark for this after a few minutes again we will come back why it is false right keep thinking about it. Now, 
So, whatever we had discussed now this is an example right. So, here what are we doing in this case like we discussed about uh, stripping, we discussed about replace, we discussed about upper case, lower and so on. So, now this is one sample example where we will try to check with what is the parsing and extracting. So, this is an example which we will talk about uh, like uh, real life problem. So, where do we use the string, where do you we use the functions of the string either it could be stripping and so on. So, we discussed about that uh, string handling and string functions then strip all that. So, now this is an example. So, like one live example where we will be using all these string functions right. Now, when you look at this example it talks about what we are trying to strip. Now, when you look at here so we there, there may be lot of lines inside one file, but we will not take something like complex example and try to understand. Simple example more number of concepts that will be very clear to us. So, we will take one line this is the line that we consider and when you look at what we are doing it we have a line which talks about from then we have a email id then we have a date time and so on. So, now we want to look at who has sent me this mail what time did the mail arrive and which year and so on. Now, how to identify who has sent me the mail? Ah, I look at the word from. So, if I have a word to then in the case I am talking about for whom I am sending a mail, but for which I want to check like from where I did I receive the mail who has who is the sender of it then I look for what start with word from then look at in the whole of the string the whole of the line I look at at symbol which will tell me that it is a email id from which I have received then maybe some word like this trying to identify whether the day time or day and so on right. So, going to that example the whole of this string literal is stored in variable called data. So, now look at from Stephen dot and so on all of this I am storing in a variable called data. Now, uh, I look at what is the position of at. Now, why am I looking at at? Why do not I consider rest? because I, I am looking at email. So, I will look at where is my position at. So, if I get an at symbol, if I get an at symbol how to identify that what is the email id? Yeah, very clear from at symbol whatever I read will be my domain from at symbol before that what I read will be my user for that domain. So, now I know that start from at go back till you have a blank. So, we get a name start from at go forward till you get a blank that is nothing but our domain name the complete domain. So, when I combine them it becomes my email id. So, what am I doing given a line I am trying to pick what that email id. So, based on my requirement I can change my logic. Now, first I will try to find what is the position of the at symbol position of the at symbol for which I will use a function called find. So, I will tell data which is my variable dot find at so, in that case I get the position in ATPOS so, a variable name that is all nothing specific here right. So, we will print ATPOS which got we got the position as 21. So, if you start counting from 0 0 index 0 1 2 3 4 5 this position is 21 position is 21. So, now here next I am trying to find data dot find blank comma ATOP what is this ATOP? ATOP is 21. So, this is 21. Next, okay, the result of that I have not told you. Next, data ATOP plus 1 colon SPOS. So, now here what is this A? This is nothing but 21 plus 1 happens to be 22 together. Then, what is this one? Okay. Now, what are we doing? We are trying to data dot find blank comma ATPOS. So, in that case I am trying to find a blank I am trying to find a blank of what ATPOS. So, what is ATPOS position 21. So, now start from position 21 try to find a blank space try to find a blank space. So, now we will start from 21 go further no blank no blank no blank yeah we got a blank space 
we got a blank space. Now, that value is nothing but SPOS, that is all, right? That is, we are storing in a variable SPOS. So, now we got this position, we got this position, right? Now, if I get uct dot ac dot za, then what am I getting? Yeah, my domain, complete domain is available, not the username, right? So, now look at I have, I am using slicing here, I am using slicing. Okay. Now, should I get at symbol? No, I do not want, I want to start with u. So, in that case 22, it should be 22. So, what I told? A T P O S which is 21 plus 1, okay, we got 22. Now, start from u, go till a, but do not consider this. Yeah, we know that slicing if I write here, it will go there, but will not consider. So, I wrote S P O S, it is nothing but 31. So, this is 31. So, start from 22, go till 31, but do not consider 31, that is what slicing is. So, when you look at that, this whole thing I am storing in a variable called host, H O S T host, we will print host. What do we get? U C T dot A C dot Z A, look at that, we got the same, U C T is dot A C dot Z A. So, now see this is how you can break the string into multiple parts based on our uh, occurrence of a particular character, identify what we want and correspondingly what we can do look for the logic forward. Right? So, this example will show us what like how do I break a particular string based on our requirement. So, this whole example will talk about what how to fetch the domain name the host, how to fetch the host. So, we got the domain name. So, we know that in the email id after that what we have is the fully domain name we can get that and then the particular user. So, if I want the user then I'll, I will I need to process what is before it and I want to check whether this whatever I am trying to figure out is it from somebody who has sent me how ah, I can look for from or I want to check like uh, what is the day and time then I can figure out like I, how do I strip this get the data. Now, assume that you had lot of blank spaces here or maybe blank spaces on the other side. Yeah, you want to skip that use L strip, you want to skip discard these white spaces you are script or we want I do not know whether it is the beginning or at the end best is what use a strip. Right? So, these are few examples of how to given a problem statement how we can use string functions to get the data out of it. Right. So, if I have multiple lines like this in one email, then I can easily find out like from where the mail has come in and what is the day and time and what is the subject line, all those things can be picked up very easily. Right. So, given a problem statement like one email and I have that in a text form in a file, then I can figure out what that email content is using a simple logic like this. So, under strings what we had discussed is like how to identify the types using a keyword called type, then how to read data, how to convert that into an integer, then we understood about string indexing, then slicing, then looping through strings using different loops like uh, while loop and even for in and there are a lot of string operators like concatenation and, and so on. And they, we do have a string library which helps us to string comparison or searching in a string or replacing in string and finally, we discuss stripping of a white spaces. But anyway, if you recall I had one question mark where we told that according to us it is true, but the answer gave us uh, false and can you remember that function? Yeah, right that function is starts with. So, that question mark will answer in the next session.